Hi, this is Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. I'm here today to do a critique of GF Crew images. These are images submitted by the members of GS, GF Crew. You have to be a member to get in this critique. I'm also doing open critiques, but not today. But those of you who send me your stuff direct, you're not GF Crew members, keep doing it. I will do open critiques as I can along the way. But right now we're doing specifically GF Crew members. I think the comments are applicable to anybody who's shooting. So hopefully everybody who's watching this doesn't turn it off now because they're not GF crewers. Because these are pictures, you want to know what I think of them, you know, uh, there you go. Okay, I'm looking at an image from uh, Charles Barnes. It's a nice picture, a football player way up in the air being tackled. I think it's a good picture. It's well cropped. Uh, it's a moment. You don't see any faces which is a little bit of a drawback, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an excellent moment. Good job. Okay, this is another good one. This is a, looks like a college, maybe high school football game. Uh, they got a good crowd. Uh, alignment, it's, it's a uh, field goal attempt or an extra point, probably a field goal. And that lineman just busted through and he's right up in there. And I can see his hands, I can see the ball, whether his hands are going to hit the ball, I don't know, which I kind of like. I kind of like the anticipation, especially if I don't know what happened in this game. So it's like, again, very nice, and uh, this is also Charles Barnes. Uh, good, good for you to go well behind the kicker on field goals and extra point attempts. That's the only way you're ever going to really get something. You get a block maybe, if not, if it's, if it's a game winning. The kicker can turn around, he's going to hug the placeholder. A lot of stuff you get from behind, you don't get from the side. Good shot. All right, this is Jason Brent, and this is uh, uh, youth girl soccer. And again, a very nice picture. Uh, very nice shallow depth of field. The background's out of focus. Uh, good action. Uh, you know, one of the problems with younger soccer players is they, they always are looking at the ball, and usually the ball's on the ground, so they have their faces down. In this case, the ball is up high, waist level to number 10, and I see two faces. I really like the background. Um, I don't know what that was shot with, actually, but it's, it's, uh, it works out really nicely. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, uh, very young soccer players. And, you know, this is action, um, which I know you don't get. The boy is, is jumping kind of over the ball. The girl, however, has a really bad expression with her eyes that just kind of, I go right there and I think, eh, you know, she's kind of got her eyes like half masked. It's just a moment you catch with a motor drive, but it kind of takes away a lot from this picture. Plus, she's not really, nobody's really interacting here. They're just there. They're sharp. They're by the ball. The kid's in the air. It's okay, but I would like to see something a little bit more, you know, uh, you get some great expressions in youth soccer, and uh, I, I don't see that there. And that was Jason Brent. Okay, Jason, here you go. Football. Uh, it's a nice football shot. Uh, you could probably crop in on the right a little bit. Uh, the problem is you've got a, a quarterback or a running back with the ball. You've got a defensive player chasing him, almost on him. And then you've got, like, another defensive lineman probably three or four yards back who's just standing there like this and that kills you and that's the problem with a lot of high school and youth sports games it's not the people who are in the foreground it's people who are in the background who are not doing anything so that kind of I mean this is a great picture if I could just make that number 65 go away um, but we can't so I don't know some cropping but it's, it's not going to change he's not going to go away unless you want to do a lot of work okay this is uh Al Brown, oh, don't put those. Well, I guess if you're selling pictures in high school or whatever to sports, you've got to put your, your little uh, copyright notice right on the picture. But it ruins the picture for me. Um, it's an excellent picture, too. It's a pass catch. The ball's just about to hit the receiver's hand. He's beating the DB. The DB is like two strides behind him. It's very nice. I would probably... Take, I'd probably crop it a little bit tighter on the left. I mean, you have a referee way out of focus, but he's not in full body. And I think you could bring it in a little bit more. But it's, it's really well cropped and well done. So that was Al Brown. 
This is Martin Casales. And this is, uh, looks like the Vikings Chargers, um, I believe. Vikings at the Chargers. Yeah, I guess I missed that game. Nice touchdown catch. He's in the end zone. He's got his foot down. He's got the ball in his hands. The Charger de defensive player is holding up his hands like they did all year. This is a nice picture. Very nice. Uh, you want to crop it tighter? You could crop it tighter. It'd have a little bit more impact if you just came in on both sides and maybe on the top a little bit. But, you know, I know that you guys have to shoot sometimes for certain uh, proportions and certain things like that. And, and even if you're shooting for a client, the client may want to do the crop. So when I talk about cropping, I talk about the ultimate way I'd like to see the picture, not the way you might want to output it. But uh, nice job, Martin. Let's see. Doug Clements. Um, this is basketball, youth basketball, which is very challenging because the light's usually pretty crappy. It looks like the light is fairly good there. But um, let's just see. Um, well, you were at ISO 6400, 28 of the thousandth. That's not bad. So you had pretty good light. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's good action. I think I would really crop it in quite a bit. I don't think you even need the net. Uh, maybe because the guy's fingers are there, but it's just, uh, yeah, you um, you have too much background with empty stands and everything. You have got one good point of action, which is number 22, but I would, I would crop it in somehow or other to bring him more to the fore. You don't need people on the right or left. You just crop into the two players, but then you have a long, tall picture, so you take off some of the, the uh, backboard standard. In basketball, uh, the net is a given. That's where the ball is going. You don't have to show it all, every time. Okay, this is uh, another shot from Doug Clemens. This is girls basketball. Um, you know, I like the fact that the uh, the girl with the ball has a good expression, but she's carrying, she's holding the ball. She's not dribbling. She's got one foot off. She looks a good action pose. The other defenders, uh, one of them, because they got their arms up so high, one of them's hand is cut off. The other one's fingers cut off. There is room on the floor. If you had more room in this picture, you could come up from the floor and get the hands in. If you don't, well, maybe you should shoot a little wider. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's decent action. All right, Joe, Joe Kalan, um, another nice one. Um, uh, receiver, got a ball just landing on his hands, and the DB is uh, behind him. Uh, it's nicely framed, nicely cropped. I'll tell you one thing that uh, is a little bothersome, and it's, we call it the amputee factor. When I look at number 15, I, his, uh, what would it be? his left leg is up off the ground and it's blocked by his right leg. So you see him appear to be standing on just one leg. You don't see the other foot. You get that a lot with runners. And it's just, it's not terrible, but it's just not, it'd just be better if I could see his other foot somewhere, somehow. Maybe you have a frame, but that's a nice moment. The ball's just landing right in his hand. Very nice. All right, Joe, here's another one. Uh, this is good action. It looks like he's bobbling. A receiver's bobbling the catch. His arms are up and the ball's over there. Defender is really on him, so I don't know how this... This picture makes me want to know how this play came out. Uh, but it is, again, good action. It's high school football at night. That's always tough to shoot but obviously getting easier as the cameras get better. But uh, a nice job, Joe, in both those pictures. Doug Scott, that's a soccer picture. Um, it's nice of the woman, number five. Uh, she's off the ground, both feet off the ground. The ball is off the ground. She's got a good expression. Her arms are good. Too bad that yet again, someone behind her is standing there doing nothing. That's really a problem, but if you you know, a, as a picture to sell to her or to her, her, her family, it's a nice picture of her. But, um, and I don't know what I can say. I mean, you can try your best to get good backgrounds and take them out of focus, but you can't account for players not playing. All right, this is Scott Dugas. The soccer again. Um, you know, they're, here they are, they're looking at the ball. Uh, nobody's really kicking it. I mean, it's the kind of picture that you could make many, many times at a soccer game. Not really outstanding, just kind of competent. You want to see these two guys, number nine, number 11, there they are. You want them to look up at you, that ball's got to be in the air. John Dean Jr. 
I guess this is, oh, it's the octagon. I can see the fence out of the focus. So, you know, this is a good shot, I guess. You had to shoot through the, through this, the fence. Um, he's about to spit his mouth guard out. He's being choked. Uh, pretty good cropping. Maybe you could have come up more on his body, maybe just right below the nipples. Okay, Steve Lambert. Well, Steve, you almost got it there. Um, got a guy making a one-handed catch over backwards, uh, a DB right on top of him, and unfortunately, you have another player, number four, in the foreground. Uh, and you also have somebody standing by the fence. If you didn't have number four in the picture, you could have cropped this a lot more and maybe just burned the guy on the fence down a little bit. Uh, as it stands, it's sort of a non-picture. Volleyball, um, you know, she's got, she's doing the thing. She's got the ball right on her arms. Her eyes look to be closed, uh, but she's down, one knee down. I mean, it's good. It's good if, if, again, if you're selling this picture to the player or to her family, it's as good as you're going to get. I have a leg in the background. Looks like a coach's leg. Uh, but, again, hard to control that sort of stuff. And that's, uh, that's Steve Lambert. Okay, wrestling. I do like wrestling, regular wrestling. Uh, Vincent Provo, uh, two little girls or little guys. They look kind of like well, one girl, one guy, as far as I can see. Really can't tell. Doesn't matter. Uh, wrestling's a funny sport. I've shot a fair amount of it. This is this is uh, Olympic wrestling, uh, college wrestling. I'm not talking about anything else. Uh, they grapple and they grapple, and you think you're getting pictures, but they like this one. This is fine. I mean, there they are. But her one girl, we don't see her face at all. The other girl, her face is buried. It, it, you know, and all of a sudden, something happens. You know, like, boom, there's a flip, there's a something. Uh, you know, and it's really tough to get that moment because you've been going clunk, 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 and they're kind of grappling around and everything, and then it explodes. So uh, I think it's a good picture. Uh, again, no faces makes it uh, difficult. But, uh, you know, um, nice job, Vincent. All right, here you go, Vincent. Got a high school football. Now, <coughs> a lot of these pictures, you know, and this is a do as I say, not as I do, because right now my knees are pretty well shot. One's been replaced, the other one needs to be replaced. I don't kneel as much as I'd like to, uh, by far. But especially when you're shooting these smaller athletes, get down on the ground. This does not look to me like it was taken from a kneeling position. And these guys are not very tall. Uh, but you've got a running back, he's lo looking away with both feet off the ground. He's, you've got a defender looking right at him, the Jets 52. Uh, I would come down more on the top. The half face of the ref is very distracting. If you just cut his head off, uh, I think you'd be better off just to have the stripes. You could come down like that. So uh, uh, another one, uh, good one, Vincent. Okay, hockey, um, Jeff Reich Reichert. Reichert. Apologies in advance if I mispronounce your name, you know. Um, okay, you got a goalie, a goal, a guy standing in front of the goal, a stick which is cropped out of the picture, no puck. Uh, where's the puck? That's the only thing that makes a good hockey picture. Uh, that and a fight. But um, this is a very static picture. There's not much here. Ronald Santini. This is old men's basketball. Uh, nice use of the American flag. You got a guy coming, driving in. Um, you know, I hate to say crop the American flag, but the only way this picture is going to work is if you crop the whole top off, like down to below the stars on the American flag, or right to them. And then come in on the left side and take what you will on what happens to that guy. You still have a guy in the foreground that keeps it from being a really great picture. But there's a picture in there. You just have to crop it down to find it. I mean, maybe it's a uh, horizontal picture cutting that, that guy below his hand, uh, the guy in green, and then up right past the shooter. Maybe that's it. Um, you know, but it's, it's a nice, it's a, it's a good effort, uh, Ronald. Okay, hockey with a puck. Rich Sawa, Sawa. I like this. This needs a crop uh, for anything. This needs a crop. You know, there's just too much ice, too much space, especially it's all white. Uh, I think these guys are really properly exposed, but I see so much white around them that I'm kind of like, wow, they're dark. How do you see the faces? This could be cropped right in around, right in on the players, and it would be a fine picture. They're both going for the puck. Nice job. Nice job, Rich. Jacob, S-C-E-T-E-L-A. Zetella, Zetella? I'm not sure. Sorry. 
Uh, good basketball action. Yes, you've cut the defender's fingers off. Uh, you know, it happens. Uh, I'll give you, because the shooter, really nice, good pace, ball right, right up on her hand. Um, you could probably come up a little bit on the crop and in to, to, to kind of diminish the player who's in the background, who's at least playing, but she's facing the other way. This is a nice shot, Jacob. Okay, another one from Jacob. This looks like it was cropped a lot, but I, I could be wrong. This has a weird look to it. Okay, so I see even over on the sideline, the guy's going like this. Uh, the other players don't appear to be too concerned. Um, and this guy looks like he's running all out by himself. So I would be tempted to crop it, but you do have players in the background. Obviously, he's broken away, and it looks like he's going to make a touchdown, and nobody on the other team thinks they're going to catch him. So it's good. It's good action. He's both feet off the ground. Uh, you notice how every time the motor drives get faster, everybody gets more of these moments. Yeah, we're all getting better. Yeah, I, I think it's good. I'm not quite sure how I'd crop it. It would depend on the use. Okay, well, again, GF Growers, you're doing great. Got some nice shots in here. Um, you know, hopefully remember the backgrounds. Try and watch out for the players who aren't participating. Um, you know, try and get low. Try and kneel, uh, especially with the younger, smaller athletes. It, it really helps, uh, you know, and... Um, yeah, I think that's really uh, that's really about what I've got to say on this this week. But good uh, this month, good job. Uh, show me some more next month, and uh, don't forget the GF Crew Workshop in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, on March 12th to 15th. I'm going to be there. Uh, we're going to have other photographers there. Uh, you know, Zamati Zamati Feelings is going to be there, and uh, we should have a good time. We're going to shoot baseball at the Cal Ripken Cal Ripken Experience and track at the uh, Carolina Coastal College. So go to GF Crew's website to see about signing up. Hope to see you there. Good shooting. I want to thank my friends at GF Crew for making this video possible. If you want to make money shooting action sports, check out GF Crew. Go to gfcrew.com to join. It's free. They have a whole process and an app set up to help you make money shooting sports. Check it out. Get started today.